become Barcelona's manager in FC25 with a promise to win the Champions League. But it's not going to be easy, as we have a pretty young squad with players like Pedro and Yamal out of position. And of course, a lot of injured players in real life. To fix this, we are going to change our tactical setup to fit all our best players in. Starting from the tactical vision, Tiki Taka it is. We also need to hire the best coaches right away. And regarding overall team tactics, I'm going to go with Tiki Taka tactical preset, 4-3-3 attack formation, short passing build-up style and aggressive defensive approach as well. We assembled our best possible 11 featuring all the talent we have in our squad and as player roles are replacing instructions in FC25, we also set appropriate roles for each and every player on the pitch. And one problem we came across when setting player roles is that all our midfielders have playmaker role. Anyways, here you can see our lineup with the ball as well. And this is the final lineup till the January transfer window as we don't have enough funds to make new transfers and successfully register players. Instead, we are going to set up our scouting network and try to find the next best player for Barcelona. First position that we are going to scout for is the defensive midfielder position, cause we are severely lacking depth in that position. That's why I'm going to send our scout to Spain for 3 months. From these 3 roles, in Senna half deep line playmaker and holding, I believe the deep line playmaker role is describing the best what we are expecting from the upcoming talents. Meanwhile, Meanwhile, we are jumping straight into the first game of the season against Valencia at Mestalia. Before match even started, we were clear favorites to take home all three points. But it was Valencia who created the first goal scoring chance of the night. Rioja plays with Gregoric, first opportunity for Valencia, shot it got blocked once again and it's one nail. Our first chance we managed to create only in the stoppage time of the first half. But Frankie de Jong missed Truvella from outside the box. Valencia is looking very solid in the second half and again one more save from Ter Stegen. And finally we managed to create our own big chance in the 77th minute. De Jong to Olmo and Daniel Olmo scores our first goal in FC 25, equalizing the score. Maybe we can score from here. Lewandowski with a shot and Mamardashvili, brilliant save. In the last corner kick of the match, we managed to convert to the winning goal. De Jong and we got the winner on 91st minute. Our first game at Mestalia. Huge, huge goal from Frankie De Jong. Right in the next game, Robert Lewandowski set the tone that would last till the end of the season. Rafinha plays back to Lewandowski, a long shot and a beautiful goal from Robert Lewandowski. What a finish from Robert Lewandowski. Oh, brilliant opportunity. Can we double our lead and goalkeeper with a save. Olmo, Rafinha again, one more chance and he also misses this one as well. In the 86th minute, we got our best chance of the game to eventually double our lead, but Pablo Gavi managed to bottle it somehow. And sadly, that was not the end. Williams, Williams shoots and Williams equalizes in the 91st minute, the last minute of the game. This is really a poor start from us, but the main focus of our team is the Champions League of course. We does have new format here. It is a league table format and we are going to play 8 games and we aim to finish the league phase in the top half of the table to be qualified for the knockouts directly. This is the lineup to go in our first ever Champions League game. We created the first goal scoring opportunity of the game. Frinky De Jong with an unbelievable cross, Rafinha back to Lewandowski, what I go from us. Our our star man scores once again. AS Monaco replied 10 minutes later with their chance. One more pass to Golovin. Kubarsu with a slight tackle and that was a penalty. But we have Ter Stegen in goal. Try to get it? Yes, no. Ter Stegen with a save. However, Monaco continued to create brilliant goal scoring opportunities one Bruh. after another. That pressure from Monaco eventually cracked our defense and Zegrova equalized the score after Balogun's assist. However, the last attack of the game goes to us. Balde tries to find Rafinha. He does have some space here, Rafinha. Can he score this one? He tries, but goalkeeper with a save. Referee blows a whistle for full time. We just get lucky not to lose this game.
After a couple of big wins in the La Liga against Villarreal and Hetafe, we suffered our first loss of the season from Osasuna of all teams. And after 8 games we have only 15 points and we are 4 points behind Real Madrid already. Anyways, let's check what we have in our youth academy. In 3 months of scouting in Spain for center defensive midfielder, we found Gustavo Ramos. He looks somewhat decent with almost 1 million market value and up to 94 potential. Let's sign him and check his stats. Gustavo Ramos Ramos is currently 59 rated center defensive midfielder. He is definitely the best talent that we have seen in these 3 months. We are currently sitting on the 6th position in the Champions League, but there are still 6 games to go. Right now, we need to fix our youth academy. To replicate what La Masia does, in real life we hire 2 more 5 star 5 star scouts and we are going to send them to a 3 month scouting mission to find the next best players for Barcelona. First one, we are heading to Argentina to find some right wingers and camps with white playmaker role and a shadow striker role. With these instructions, we are trying to replicate the roles on a pitch of Leo Messi. Next up, we are heading to Uruguay to find some strikers with a target forward and advanced forward roles. And last but not least, our third scout will be looking for rising talents in France for a center mid position. But before checking the academy prospects, we got maybe the most important game in the first half of the season. We are playing against Bayern Munich in the Champions League and we need to get the revenge for our previous losses. But sadly, Bayern Bayern Munich were simply unstoppable on the field. Paulo Dybala with a fantastic incisive pass to Leroy Zane and Bayern got the opener. Near the end of the first half we got a chance to equalize the score. Rafinha with a chance to score and Martinez with a save. Right in the beginning of the second half Bayern doubled their lead with Kingsley Coman. Soon Bayern scored the third goal as well. We are getting humbled big time by Bayern Munich. And a fourth goal from Harry Kane as well. 4-0. I think my job is on the line after this loss. And from bad to worse, our next game is the first El Clasico of the season at Santiago Bernabeu. But no guys, we got fitness issues, Ronald Araujo does not have any stamina left, as well as Lamin Yamal, so Ferran Torres had to come in instead of Lamin Yamal. And as expected, Blanco started the game aggressively. Real Madrid on the break, it is almost definitely a goal, but Vinicius Jr. shoots and Mark under Ter Stegen with a save. Valverde to Kylian Mbappe. So much pace from Kylian. Eric Garcia, can he stop him? Of course he can't. And Kylian Mbappe opens the score. This goal was coming to be fair. You can see Carlo Ancelotti is happy than ever. In a 60 second minute we got our first chance of the night. Rafinha, can he score there? No, he misses the target. That was our best opportunity yet. Rodrigo once again, what can he do there? No. And Christensen, what a tackle that was! Eventually Real Madrid won the game. They have pretty much Galacticos 2.0 and they deserve to win tonight. Let's check the reports from our youth scouts. In Uruguay we managed to find this guy Julian Mosquera, only 15 years of age, 5.6 left footed, 625,000 market value. But he does have brilliant potential up to 94. He is right away 56 rated right winger with playstyles of dead ball and relentless. But the most exciting talent that we have found is from Argentina, Fran Ramirez, 2.5 million market value, 80 to 94 potential. He's already 17 years old, 64 rated center midfielder with 5 star skill moves. I mean his stats suggest that he is much of a winger or a striker. He does have great agility and balance, good acceleration and stamina, as well as decent finishing. So let's convert him to a right winger. And guys, if you are excited about FC25 content, subscribe to the channel to not miss any of it. We are only 10th in the Champions League league phase and we got a game at Signal Iduna Park against Borussia Dortmund next. And we got a first chance in the 12th minute, when after Rafinha's cross, we have been awarded with penalty kick as a result of handball. Can Robert Lewandowski score against his former club? Yes he can. And he's showing a bit of respect to Borussia Dortmund fans. We got a chance here, Rafinha shoots and Rafinha doubles our lead. A perfect incisive pass from Pedri and an inch perfect finish from Rafinha as well. Just 5 minutes later Borussia created their own goal scoring chance. 
said Hugidasi. Hari Madayemi, and he got one back. Ronald Araujo did not manage to intercept the ball from Serhu Girassi, and a close range shot from Adeyemi went in. And that was it. We managed to keep our one goal lead and got to win against Borussia Dortmund at Signal Iduna Park. As a result, we climbed up to the fourth position in the league table before the last two games. Where the situation in the La Liga was even better, a terrific form from Lewandowski and Ferran Torres was enough for us to climb up to the first position with 36 points after 16 games. But the next match we are going to face Atletico de Madrid who are just one point behind us in the league table. Atletico Madrid is in attack. Julian Alvarez from the middle and he shoots and he netted the ball. There were nothing Mark Andre Testegen could do there. We got a chance on the break here. Laminia Mal tries to find Lewandowski. Plays with Pedri. Pedri can you score there? Yes you can. Our number eight with an equalizer. That was it, referee blows the full time whistle. We share the point with Atletico de Madrid and I believe draw is a fair result for this game. Let's check the academy where we do have an update. Now we can switch position for Ramirez to become a right winger. He is currently 65 rated center midfielder and after converting him to a right winger he went up by 2 and he is currently 67 rated 79 to 94 potential. I want him to firstly obtain white playmaker player role. I truly believe this guy is a special talent so maybe we can try to promote him to the senior team in upcoming months but before that we got the super copa de españa final against real madrid the previous match against blancos we lost and were by far the worst team on the pitch but this time we looked so much better Daniel Olmo finds Frankie de Jong, we are one on one with the keeper de Jong, shoots and Thibaut Courtois. And we got corner here, the ball comes in, Araujo with a chance, a terrible attempt from him, but we got penalty here. What just happened there? Bruh. Nothing. Let's double check, Ronald Araujo shoots the ball, oh there were a little bit of touch to Rudiger's hand there, so I guess it is a pen, anyways we take it, let's try to convert this penalty, Lewandowski with a penalty and he scores, we got our first goal in the El Clasico, Yamal plays back to Lewandowski, across to Rafinha, and Omo even managed to shoot there. We got yet another corner kick. Rafinha to Lewandowski. No. Lewandowski shoots and what a save from Thibaut Courtois. We got a free kick in a dangerous situation. Lewandowski, can you convert this? And Thibaut Courtois with another brilliant save. And yes, guys. Referee blows the full-time whistle. We took our revenge from Real Madrid for the previous loss in El Clasico. But this one is much sweeter. As we simultaneously won our first trophy of the season, Super Copa de España. We are in fantastic form right now. Robert Lewandowski is the best goal scorer of the La Liga with 15 goals. All our attackers performing on the highest level. Ferran Torres, Rafinha, even our midfielders are doing great like Frankie de Jong and Pedri. But one particular player, the best young player in the world, Lamin Yamal, is having a nightmare of a season with only 2 goals and 0 assists in 16 games. That's why I think we need to get reinforcement in the right flank of the attack. And we got one last chance to sign Leo Messi for 6 months on loan deal from Inter Miami. And that is exactly what we did. Messi returns to Barcelona for 6 months to maybe win his last Champions League and got his well deserved farewell in Barcelona. Lionel Messi made his return to the Champions League in the match against Benfica. De Jong finds Lamine Yamal. Yamal with the shot and Trubin with the save. And that save was not the only one from Trubin that night. He was on the mood of denying every attempt from us. Messi finds Lamin Yamal in the flank. Yamal shoots no. and Trubin with a save. Messi with a shot and Alatoli Trubin with a save. But in the 58th minute, Benfica managed to open the score from a counter-attack. Despite conceding that goal, we continue to attack hard that night. Messi, Lewandowski, can he score the Anatoly Trubin with yet another save? We managed to pull one back in the 73rd minute. Rafinha was the first on the ball after a lucky rebound in the opponent's box. Eventually match ended with 1-1 score and as a result we are 6th in the league table before the last match against Atalanta. And if we win that one, we will definitely guarantee our place in the round of 16. The last game in the Champions League league phase was the match where Leo announced to the world his return to the biggest football stage. A long shot from Leo Messi and a what a strike from Messi! An unbelievable long range goal and we take the lead. 
soon after that we doubled our lead. Lewandowski could have easily scored by himself, but he decided to pass the ball to his teammate. Messi continued his magic after our second goal as well, reducing an unbelievable through ball to De Jong, but Frankie's shot got blocked. And eventually we won the game against Atalanta 2-0, securing the fourth place in the Champions League table. In the round of 16, we are matched up against Leipzig. We definitely have the quality to eliminate Leipzig and progress to the quarterfinals. But before that, I'm going to promote Fran Ramirez to the senior team, and he is on the bench in the match against Las Palmas. We are in a phase of attack, a beautiful passing movement. Pedri finds Rafinha and we scored our first of the night. And a substitution for us as well. Ferran Ramirez is coming in instead of Rafinha. Ferran Ramirez with his first shot and it got blocked. A La Masia talent Fran Ramirez had one more chance in the dying seconds of the game. What can he do here? Cuts inside, shoots and fantastic save from Ugurshan. Eventually we won the game 2-0, securing 5 points lead over Real Madrid after 25 games in the La Liga. But soon enough we have our first match of the round of 16 in the Champions League against Leipzig. RB Leipzig proved me so wrong underestimating their team. Great pass to Loi Openda, Openda shoots and the ball hit the post. In the 61st minute Leipzig punished us for being quite mediocre on the pitch. Louis Openda is completely free. His shot got denied by a post, but the rebound goes to him as well. A terrible mistake in defense and we are getting punished right away. Rafinha cuts inside to Lewandowski and we reply immediately. Robert Lewandowski with an equalizer just a couple of minutes after we consider it. However, RB Leipzig were definitely better that night and managed to score the winner in the 81st minute again of the rebound. And eventually we lost this game to RB Leipzig 2-1. We are heading to the second match of the round of 16 and only win will let us to proceed in the tournament. But surprisingly for us, Leipzig started forcing their attack in the second match as well. Benjamin Sheshko shoots, Mark andre Ter Stegen with a save. However, we started the second half magnificent. Alder to Pedri, Pedri with an equalizer. Great reach there, ball roll inside and top pins finish from Pedri. Soon Laminia Mal got involved in the game as well. We have great opportunity to score here but Gulashi with a save. How Lewandowski did miss there. Lewandowski with a header and a goal line clearance from Leipzig defender. The normal time ended with an equal aggregate score and match went to an extra time. And we created yet another goal scoring chance right in the beginning of an extra time. Rafinha with a bursting pace and he misses the shot. And when everything indicated that the match will go to a penalty shootout, a disaster struck. What a chance for Leipzig, Anderson Taliska to Openda. And Leipzig scores on 111th minute and we are in a verge of being eliminated. The only hope left for us was the GOAT himself. We got the final chance to attack here. Daniel Olmo releases Messi in the right flank. Messi with his technical dribbling. He finds himself in the opposition box. A near post shot and Messi equalizes the score in 120th minute with the last shot of the game. Saving Barcelona one more time in his amazing career. And it is going to be a penalty shootout. Messi with the first shot. I was never in doubt. Mark andre Ter Stegen, can you take this one from Openda? No. The second player from us is Rafinha and Rafinha also scores. Anderson Taliska. Mark andre Ter Stegen with a save. Frankie De Jong tries a Panenka shot and a fantastic goal from De Jong. Ter Stegen and he didn't manage to get yet another shot. Daniel Olmo, he was not good at the field, but he scored his penalty. If Ter Stegen gets this one, we will win the tie. Xavi Simons scored down the middle, Robert Lewandowski with the last shot of the game. And he scores! Robert Lewandowski with the winner! We somehow managed to turn the tables in this tie. What kind of thriller this was! And would you believe that? We are going to face Bayern Munich one more time after losing 4-0 in the league phase. But we were unable to have our best possible lineup on a pitch. Zandrius Christensen got injured right before the game and Eric Garcia had to step up. And this time the luck was in our side. Messi again. Tried to cross there and ball hit Guerrero's hand. We got a penalty kick there and Messi converted it successfully. 
In the second half, Bayern proved their world class once again. And Eric Garcia tries to steal the ball there, but Jamal Musiala is still with the ball. Shoots, Mark Andre Deshtegen with the save, and the rebound goes to Leroy Zane. Harry Kane! It is 1 1 with the keeper! There is only one possible scenario there. Harry Kane, with so much space, definitely is going to score. And as the thing stands, we are losing the first game against Bayern Munich 2 1 at our home ground. But we do have Lionel Messi in our squad, and he is capable of producing magic moments like this one. Messi shoots and Messi scores! What an unbelievable free kick from Lionel Messi! He is still the best player in Barcelona and maybe in a world as well. How is he doing that? And we indeed save this game, securing the equal aggregate score before the second match of the tie. But at the same time, in the La Liga, we started to unexpectedly draw precious points. And Real Madrid climbed back to the first position after 31 games. Anyways, our main focus now is to win the second game of the quarterfinals against Bayern Munich at Allianz Stadium. But it is never an easy task to complete. Musiala! What a fantastic attack that was from Bayern Munich, but Marc-Andre Ter Stegen saves us. A fantastic counter-attacking movement from our team. We did exceptionally well there to beat the Bayern press. Frankie de Jong with a pass to Messi and Messi finds Lewandowski. He does have space here, defender did not manage to track him back and he opened the score. And in the 64th minute we managed to double our lead with Rafinha, creating a comfortable advantage in the tie. We locked our goal this time safely and Bayern did not manage to do anything with that. Eventually we managed to win this game 2-0 and with the aggregate score of 4-2 we are progressing in the Champions League by eliminating Bayern Munich. And would you believe that? In the next round we are matched up against yet another team from the Bundesliga. We are playing the first game of the tie against Bayer Leverkusen away from home. Bayer Arena is ready for the first match of the semi-finals in the Champions League. And in the beginning of the second half we got a chance to open the score from the sport once again. We are getting so lucky with these handballs. I don't think it was a penalty to be fair. But yet... Lewandowski converts the kick from a spot to give us the lead in Bayer Arena. Bayern got a free kick, Aleix Garcia with a shot and that was an unbelievable free kick from Aleix Garcia. But as we already did couple of times this season, we did not give up till the end. Frankie de Jong sends Lamin Yamal, can he score there? Yes he can! With the last shot of the game, our young superstar finally delivers when it matters the most. We got a goal advantage against Bayer Leverkusen before the second game and the team feels positive about the outcome of this tie. And we started the second game against Bayer Leverkusen at Montjuic brilliantly. Already in the fourth minute, Leo Messi found himself 1-1 -on -one with the keeper and beat Karnasek easily, doubling our aggregate advantage. But just 10 minutes later, Bayer Leverkusen equalized the score with a beautiful solo goal from Frimpong. But in the second half, we managed to hold on that score, keeping our one goal advantage over Bayer alive till the final whistle from the referee, securing the spot in all decisive final match, where we are going to face fourth German club in the knockouts, Borussia Dortmund. We already faced them in the league phase. Now the stakes are as high as possible. But before that game, we need to address the situation in the La Liga, where we were awful in the second part of the season. Last time we won a game in the league was two months ago. As a result, we dropped down to the fifth position, right before the third El Clasico of the season. In fact, this game showed how much we were focused on performing in the Champions League and how exhausted we are mentally and physically. We did not manage to create a single goal scoring chance whole match and Real Madrid took home all three points. Before the last game of the season, we were sitting in the 4th position, but if we did lose the final game against Athletic, they would finish the season in the 4th place above us. Let's simulate this game and hope that we are not going to lose it. And we did want it. We are going to be in the Champions League next season, no matter the result of the Champions League final. But of course, the last game of the season is the most important one for Barca in 10 years. The last time we won the trophy, it was 2015. The dream trio of world football, MSN, led by Lionel Messi, conquered the Europe exactly 10 years ago. Can almost 38 years old Messi perform on that level one more time? I guess we are going to find out pretty soon.
And we started this final game with style. Laminia Mal got the ball in the right flank. Cuts inside, a load pass to Lewandowski. He got the ball on his chest. And a dream volley from Lewandowski. There were nothing Gregor Kobel could do there. What a way to start the Champions League final. We were looking very solid on the pitch, dominating the game until the 83rd minute. Karim Adeyemi tried to cross the ball from the left flank and the ball supposedly hit Christensen's hand. So the beast got awarded with a penalty kick and Girassi scores from the spot. And I don't know what he's doing there. But oh boy, how lucky are we having Messi back wearing Barcelona shirt. Messi from a long range and fantastic finesse goal from Leo Messi. Our leader and captain stepped up big time to save Barca once again. After all these years, he still possesses what it takes to win the toughest games. And even that was not the end. Messi with the ball. He passed one opponent easily. He finds himself in the opposition box. Pass got intercepted, but Messi puts the ball into the net. In the dying seconds of the game, complete in a brace in the Champions League final. He won yet another Champions League trophy for Barcelona. How is he even doing that? The goal himself brings the most prestigious trophy in club football back to Catalonia. Back to Barcelona. The one last time we witnessed Leo's magic in Blaugrana shirt. But as we were about to discover, this huge accomplishment had a bitter aftertaste. The Champions League final against Borussia Dortmund was Lionel Messi's swan song. He retracted his contract with Inter Miami and hanged up his boots. An emotional moment for the football fans worldwide. But it was not the end for us. Robert Lewandowski, our best goal scorer of the season, decided to retire as well. The only world-class goalkeeper we have, Marc-Andre Ter Stegen, picked up an ACL injury and will most probably miss the whole next season. And on top of that, we did not manage to reduce the wages. So as the things stand, we won't be able to sign anyone next season as well. And the worst of them all, our main hope, young superstar Lamine Yamal took a massive step back this season and it will most probably hit to his potential accordingly. Our future is not looking very bright to say at least. Are we going to survive under this amount of pressure next season? And who is going to take the responsibility to carry the team on his shoulders? These all are the open questions and they need to be addressed right away.